Hi, Jules. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you very, very much for this. I think that um, my PR students are going to really love having some insights into local papers. I've been in Melbourne now for about 25 years. Uh, I spent probably 15, 16 years at the Herald and Weekly Times, right. mainly working on the Sunday Herald Sun uh, in various roles. I, I guess I was a bit of an all-rounder in that I was an editor, a section editor, a writer, um, production editor. Right. And I worked on areas mainly features including uh, travel, sport and entertainment. I've also got time to uh, run the Warrandyte Diary, which I took over about three years ago as editor. We've done pretty well for our little paper out here. It's only a little monthly that goes to about 4,000 people. But it's the longest serving, I think I'm right, uh, community newspaper in Victoria. It's been around as long as I have, uh, 46 years. I imagine you get loads of emails or calls every day from people pitching stories. I'm interested to know roughly how many pitches do you receive and what makes a pitch stand out for you? The diary is a monthly paper. Uh, I probably get, look, anywhere from 10 to 15 a week right. pitches for various things. And that can be, uh, it's quite broad. It can be anything to do with sport. Yep. up to a service, a community service club um, or something from council perhaps uh, and just the general public um, wanting to let me know on something that's terrific that's happened or something bad that's happened, which can happen right. out here. Yeah, just a nice, succinct pitch um, that I can follow up, either yep. reply to via email or if it's of particular interest, I'll make the call. What sort of stories are you looking for? Do they have to have a local angle? Is there any opportunity for people who maybe are supplying a service across maybe the whole of Victoria? Would you be interested in that? Or is it very Look, specific to the local area? We are a community newspaper and I, our distribution, I try and keep it within the parameters of what our community represents, I guess. Yeah. But in saying that, we've, we've, actually, we've had stories that have got up where they've been able to tie in a local angle. Yep, yep. Maybe if something is, yeah, if it's statewide, but there's a person from, say, Warrandyte who's actually involved in that in some capacity or has had an experience, yep. um, that's always going to help and, you know, increase the chances tenfold of, of getting up in the paper. Because I'm big on embracing our local businesses. Yeah. So, you know, there is much a part of the, uh, the community as anyone. Yep. And, and the life, provide the lifeblood for our newspaper because we're advertising only as far as revenue goes. I've got no problem if there's a really clever hook on, on you know, a customer right, um, right. that's local. Yeah, for sure. Really, something that's well presented, what's important to me is it's really easy to address yep. in a short amount of time. important in that one paragraph uh, pitch that it's, it's, it's clean, it's appealing, uh, there's a low res pick there um, yep. that might complement it or a video. I guess that's the other thing too. I, I think in this day and age where it's easier to gather content and repurpose it or, or apply it to whatever you, you're creating, whether it be a video or a written piece, yep. that's important now because we're all time poor. Anything to help because a lot of newspapers are looking for really clever, um, well-written pieces yep. or well-produced pieces links to embed really seamlessly, um, a, a Dropbox or something really uh, um, uh, easy to download images from. Right, right. That's important, I think. The minute you sort of get jarred, it's almost you don't want to go there. So, yeah, it's fast. It's all, all happening right. really quickly. Now, how far in advance do you need or do you prefer people to contact you if they want to get into the diary? Probably about three weeks. Um, oh, okay. I guess... Yeah, oh, just with the, we're monthly, but then again, the luxury, or not the luxury, I guess the benefits of being digital now, where we're not just a monthly newspaper anymore, we're online, we have the yeah. website, we have a really strong social media presence, so we're pushing things through Facebook or, or um, our diary TV on YouTube, uh, so there's a bit of scope now, we can get things up instantaneously too, uh, yeah, even though we're monthly. Yeah. Yeah. It's for, for planning, because we're largely volunteer driven and it's really, it sort of gets to the end of the month. It's all right, wham, bam, let's put it all together. The earlier I know, 
the e um, easier it is to plan and I can schedule it in. And right. I know we've got a 36 page paper every month and you know, I'd start filling it right three weeks out. If people are pitching a story and it's about a product, do you want samples? Do you like to see and touch things before you write about them or how does that work? Yeah, look, that helps. It definitely helps. Um, having done it for you know twenty years now, especially the travel, the, 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 one of the joys. <laughs> oh, the I mean, as a travel writer, even if it's a weekend away, like I did uh, the Barossa Valley once over three days. By going there, experience everything that's new. I was able to come back and generate fifteen articles from it. So oh, fantastic. Okay, you know, a lot more than what a press release and a few images could do. So, yeah. So how do you feel about people saying thank you? And is there a sort of an added bonus that maybe you then discuss um, maybe other stories or anything? Is there, is there a benefit out of it? Sometimes it's hard to keep up and respond to everyone. Yes. But I think both sides, I think even if it's short and sweet, um, you still have to respond and, and do that follow up. Yeah. That helps. Yeah. I mean, it's always nice if somebody turns around and, uh, you know, especially where the space is pretty competitive, yeah, it really does make a difference, even a note or, a, a you know, to say thanks, it was fantastic, we really And, and, and would that then, um, the next time if, some, if that same person then approached you, would you kind of maybe definitely open their, uh, open their email or the name would resonate with you a little bit so that it's good for yeah. people to do it because it's building that relationship with you? Yeah, it is, and that's it. Client relationship building, it's, I think it's vital. And anyone who, who's polite enough to sort of say thank you, or, or you do, you, you've, you remember, uh, you open, you know, you open up, you really yeah. do. One of the biggest tips I can offer, and it, it goes to, to anyone who's getting into publicity, PR, journalism, it's yeah. to look at the, what's out there, the tools and the technology are out there, so upskill. Right. Really have a look at becoming that all-rounder who can, you can write a story, you can take a photo, you know how to upload, you can blog, you can push through social media, you know how to report on social media. Um, video, really yep. important. 80% of the content we consume now is video. And we've got Diary TV, so right. a, a YouTube channel, and we push it through and we get, you know, we did a little thing on these alpacas got lost the other day and they're all standing at a bus stop. Oh, and so cute. it looked like they were catching the bus. So we, we got a photo, ran a story, and then we did a video, and it just, you know, it was Went fun. Oh. Yeah, it's so video is definitely important. And if you've got an audio file too for podcasting, that's another okay. area that's growing. Yeah. yeah sure. Okay, great. Well, listen, thank you very, very much for your time, Scott. You've been fantastic, and I'm sure all your insights are going to be really useful for people. And um, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Jules. Always lovely to talk to a pro like you.